What's up, you guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Phase 14 tutorial. And in this video, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the time freeze effect like this. Watch this. So if you want to see more of those advanced Vegas tutorials just like this one, make sure to smash the like button down below. Pretty cool, right? So I would say, let's get started. Alright guys, as you can see right now, we are in uh, Sony Vegas and there is no face cam because I received a comment from someone that the face cam is a little bit distracting and it's covering up some of the parts of the video. So this video is not without the face cam, but all future ones will be with face cam, obviously including the green screen and so on. But for this solo video, uh, the second video of today as well, I'm gonna just keep out the face cam. So I would say let's get started with this video. So as you can see, I just all already dragged in uh, the clips that we're going to use and obviously I also cut away some of the uh, the parts where I'm going to get ready so let's see and let's watch the first part of the video what's up you guys my name is Alex welcome back to a brand new phase 14 tutorial and in this video guys I'm going to show you guys how to make the time freeze effect like this watch this Okay, as you can see right now, I'm just throwing up the, uh, the the camera bag just a couple of times to have some room. So what we're going to do then first is we're going to make this freeze and then we're going to make the other guy on the right uh, walk in. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go ahead and skip a few frames and, that's, and I'm going to pause it right where I'm throwing it into the air. That's right, right here. So I'm going to go frame by frame. So it's a little bit easier. So as you can see, throwing up the the bag really slow i'm going to make it float right there so what we're going to do then is we're going to press s first then we're going to make a screenshot it's going to be really simple we're going to click on this little discat icon uh, above the preview screen and we're going to call this uh, s1 called screenshot one then we're going to click on save and then we're going to uh, move this part to the right but we're going to keep this uh, part we're not going to delete it then what we're going to do is we are going to drag in our screenshot as you can see so then I'm gonna uh, we're gonna put that one onto a new video track. So I'm gonna right click, insert video track, and right now I'm gonna place it right there. So if I play back the video, this is how it looks. Like this. Watch this. So as you can see, this is just me throwing up the uh, little camera bag. So this is just a standing still frame. So it's a little bit easier to work with. So the, th the, that, the thing that we're going to do next is we're going to cut away the right part because we want the other guy to walk in. So we're going to go to the event pan crop icon of the frame that we just uh, shot. Then we're going to click on mask and we're going to pick this rectangle tool and we're going to just, uh, let's say I'm going to select everything to around here just next to the camera bag so it gives us enough room on the right to make the other guy walk in so what we're going to do then is we're going to look for the clip where i'm going to stand on the other side and walk in so if you want to see more of those advanced this one so we're going to drag this on top of well just next to the first clip so this is how it looks so if you want to see more of those advanced Vegas tutorials. But as you can see, like all videos, uh, like those, like how to clone, for example, we have this line in the middle. So we're going to remove that one. So we're going to go back to the event and crop of the screenshot. We're going to go to feather type. We're going to place this one on both. And then I'm going to click on the feather, you know, click on this little arrow. And then we're going to move with this arrow until the line disappears. But we can still see a difference because this one is a little bit lighter than the right one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to video effects. We're going to fix that real quick. Uh, brightness and contrast. Click on default. Drag it onto of the video. Then we're going to put the brightness up a little bit more until you don't see uh, as much of, of the difference. So if I play back the video, this is how it looks already. So if you want to see more of those advanced It's a little bit laggy, let me put it to half. This. Watch this. So if you want to see more of those advanced Vegas tutorials. Okay, so as you can see there's a little bit of difference because this one is a little bit more uh, contrast. You know, it has a little bit more contrast and this one is a little bit uh, more faded. So I'm going to go to brightness and contrast and I'm going to, uh, let's say, I'm going to put the videos on top of it as you can see but that's one that is a little bit too much so we're gonna bring it down just a little uh this one looks uh very cool 
So I'm gonna put it like this. So as you can see right now, I'm just walking in. This guy is still holding the, uh, well, the f it's still flying into the air. Then I'm going to, uh, let's let's play it back a little. Make sure to smash the like button <laughs> down below. Okay, so as you can see, uh, right when I throw up, it's a little bit faded. Uh, when I throw up the camera bags, I'm gonna go to uh, the FM pan crop and I'm going to uh, drag this masked part a little bit more to the left as you can see so we both have uh, the, the the camera bags fully uh, visible not really faded one or the other so this is how it looks already so when I l throw up this one I'm gonna make this make, make the other uh, the guy on the left make it fall down so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go further a few frames Okay, so when it's flying right there, we're gonna also mute the other track, as you can see, this one. Then we're gonna make a new screenshot, we're gonna call this S2, screenshot 2. Then I'm going to uh, cut it right here. Then I'm going to place uh, where I catch it again, this one. I'm gonna put that one on top of it. So let's see how it looks. I'm gonna remove the audio for a second, press Control u like this. But you can see this one also needs to be masked. So I'm gonna go back, go to mask, event and crop, and go ahead and put it like so. Then feather type, both. Drag this one a little bit more to the right until the line disappears a little bit better. So as you can see, this one looks very accurate. So I'm gonna play it back. So I'm gonna cut it and then I'm going to uh, place this second uh, um, screenshot in, as you can see. Boom. So now that the other guy is throwing it up and it's flying in the air, I'm going to make the other guy, the left guy, catch it. So I'm going to go back to the where I'm catching it, as you can see. So I'm going to drag it on top of it, well, next to it. Let's see how it looks. This one also need, needs to be masked. Go to mask, the rectangle tool, as you can see, like this. Feather type, obviously you want to just keep repeating this process until you're happy with it, as you can see. So this is how it looks. Pretty cool, right? So I would say, make sure to... Pretty cool, right? So I would say, let's get started. So when I get when I say, let's get started, I'm going to cut away uh, this uh, screenshot part. And I'm going to replace that with the other guy catching it, as you can see. Like this. Remove the audio. Boom. This is how it looks. Start it. This one also needs to be masked. Go to mask. Like I said, just go and go around the guy. Feather type, both feather until the line disappears. This is how it looks. Boom. So this is how to make the time freeze effect, guys. And obviously, I just, uh, as you can see, as you guys also saw on the thumbnail, um, I just uh, put in a nice uh, cinematic filter over it. So I'm going to show you guys the final uh, project. So this is what I've come to create. Okay, so that's how cool it looks, guys. So what you want to do is you want to render that part out. Then you want to drag that into your project, as you can see this one so it's just one rendered file so you can also add in a fade out and then what you want to do is you just want to go to the uh, event pan crop then we have this little icon that says plugin chain as you can see those are all the presets I installed those do not come with Vegas I just downloaded them uh, external so if you want to see a video how to install plugins check out the description we're not going to do something in sony vegas right now but we're going to go ahead and go to our browser i'm going to pick chrome in my case i'm going to go to chrome let's see where it is and as you can see right now we are on a website that is called software informer now i want to mention that uh, usually you would get anything Sony Vegas related, it's like a preset manager. I picked this, this one, uh, this turquoise glare letter box, click on add, click on OK. And as you can see, this is how awesome it looks. So if you want to uh, remove those black bars, you just want to disc, uh, disc check uh, 
uh, cookie cutter and this is how awesome it looks in total like you guys saw at the intro so that is how to create a time freeze effect guys it's that simple just make some screenshots time it and time it really well and that's how to do it so thanks for the support i'll catch you guys tomorrow with a brand new vegas 14 tutorial about how to uh, attach objects on the floor and the ground just if you're curious about that one make sure to stay subscribed stay active and i'll catch you guys tomorrow just alex halford